afternoon, guys. It's the 21st. Uh, finally heading out from home. I was hooked up to a trailer here at the yard, but uh, dispatch doesn't want me taking that one. They want me to go grab another one from a different place for some reason. So I guess we're going to go do that. Um, so yeah. On this trip, we're going from Buckeye, and then we're going to be heading out to Roswell. Probably stay the night. Uh, maybe in Globe or something. We had to take the old U.S. highways past where I used to live for a while. So, it'd be cool to stop by there, maybe get some authentic Mexican food or something like that. From Burger House. So, yeah. We gotta go pick up this other trailer and then we're gonna head and get a truck wash, as you guys can see from the bug splatters and everything. It's time for her to get a wash. Um, and then we're gonna head over and not run over a pigeon. Get the hell out of the way, bird. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you have wings. But yeah, <laughs> we're gonna head over and get a wash and then we're gonna head over and uh, get the trailer after that. We'll see you guys here in a few. All right, we're pulling up to where we're grabbing this empty trailer at. Should be right here. Building three, that's building one, building two, all the way back to the back. When you're looking for address, I don't know if you can see me pointing, but it's usually up on the top corner of the building. Or, in this case, all three of these buildings are at the same address, so that has building one, two, and three, like up ahead of us. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it says building three at the top left of that corner of the building. Beacon. Bam Bam really isn't feeling good. Uh, gonna get a truck wash, trailer wash out, and then we're gonna head over and uh, grab the load over at Buckeye. It's a drop and hook, open window, so I'm able to get there whenever I want today and uh, pick up, so. We'll get this truck washed down and then we'll head out that way. See you guys here in a few. All right, y'all, we just topped off the tanks. Here it loves. Looks like we got a line coming out of here. <sighs> Rush hour traffic. It's gonna be fun trying to get out of Phoenix. And a little note to the uh, the drivers out there: if you're hauling a reefer. You don't need to tighten the reefer tank to where the fucking Hulk Hogan couldn't open it. No point. 
you just need to be able to secure the fuel inside. You don't have to tighten it down to where it's absolutely impossible to open the damn thing because I wasn't able to top off fuel because of it. I tried hitting it with a hammer, I tried doing a bunch of stuff and it wasn't working. So, Luckily where I'm dropping it at is all dry loads coming out of there. So. Maybe someone has some better tools or whatnot that can actually get into it. So the traffic begins. here several times before make this right and then I shoot across all three lanes here and it's instantly gonna be a left I'm gonna go uh, sign in and all that stuff and see where our trailers are at. All right, y'all. So just got done picking up. The sun is setting. It's already set. We got about 200 miles, and then we'll be stopping. Uh, I gotta stop by Loves real quick. I'm gonna scale out. the load and uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Uh, pick my nose a little bit.
Oh yeah. Yeah, it's like 20 mile an hour road. Isn't that the one you wanted to take when we were going from Texas to Arizona, but we decided not to because it was super windy? desert from what people think there's actually mountains there's actually trees there's snow up in the high mountains here in Arizona so it's not just desert that's a good thing that's one of the good things about living in Phoenix is you can drive five hours tops and have a different change of scenery any direction that you go you can go two hours north up into Flagstaff and you'll be up in you know the high country snow, be able to go skiing, all that stuff. Uh, even over in Payson, they have uh, the Sunrise Ski Resort over there I used to go to. Uh, and then you can drive to San Diego or LA or Newport Beach or any of that kind of stuff. That's about five hours away. Vegas. Yeah, you can go up to Vegas. That's probably the same, about three or four hours, depending on how fast you drive. Sedona. Uh, Sedona, yeah. Mexico and hang out on the beach down there. So there's a lot of different things you can do here in Arizona. Just gotta get out of the desert. You can also go down to the sand dunes. It's out off of Interstate 8, I think, going towards San Diego. But all right, we're gonna get over to this loves and then. Uh, get a cat scale. We'll see you guys here in a few. Alright guys, we made it here to the Loves over here in Tolson, Arizona. Need to uh, top off my windshield washer fluid and what else am I going to do in here? Forget. Coffee. Yeah, getting some coffee too. Taco. Huh? Taco. Oh hey, there's a taco truck. That's a cool truck. Check that out. It's pretty cool. Idiot car feed there. That is a lot of spilled fuel. Or water. Hopefully it's water. But yeah, I'm gonna run in and uh, get some windshield washer fluid and we're gonna top that off, get some coffee. Maybe use the restroom real quick. <clears throat> Hinting to you. <laughs> and then we'll be heading out of here. We'll catch you guys here in a few minutes. All right guys, well we got the uh, windshield washer fluid topped off. The damn cap on the reservoir broke off on me so hopefully that doesn't go flying off in, in the heat but uh yeah so we got that all topped off now our next stop is going to be in Globe 
Arizona. We'll uh, see how we're feeling there. If we want to keep going or whatnot. We got three, basically three days on this load, so not too stressed about it. And we can't show up outside of the window or we'll get a service failure or whatnot for it, so no point in showing up there super early. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna leave a little bit of a time lapse, uh, leaving Phoenix and then going up the mountain into Globe. I used to drive that route like all the time in my personal car. I miss it, so I want to record it just to have it. So, uh, so yeah, if we, uh, or if I think of anything interesting to talk about or anything like that, we'll uh, turn the camera back on. But we'll see you guys here in a few. Drops on the floor alongside my spear. My knees are drenched in the blood I spill just to get it. When I
shit for a little bit. That guy's got a Trump sign on the front of his truck. Shoot the shit for a little bit and uh, then we'll be heading to Las Cruces. Stay there for the night. It's only about three hours away. Uh, we're just going to split the days in half. Take it easy. So unfortunately it's going to be like we're going to be kind of on a night kind of thing today. So it's gonna be kind of boring but yeah so anything to add no stayed at a Walmart <laughs> I don't really know what to talk about uh yeah the Safford here in or the Safford here in Walmart the Walmart here in Safford actually didn't bug us we stayed here last night and all almost all day today so it's pretty cool they didn't bug us at all um, and they don't have any signs posted that say you can't park here like no overnight parking or no trucks no RVs none of that stuff the only signs I see is no soliciting and that they have cameras which I'm fine with but uh yeah like I said we're gonna go a little bit of the go over and hang out with our friend for a little bit um, catch up and then we'll be on the road oh yeah and it's a reunion for Bambi to meet her her uh, biological parents maybe well we'll see we'll see you guys here in a few take me away from home show me all the places I've never known As you see, we pulled into the TA here in Las Cruces. I uh, ended up taking our 10. Uh, unfortunately, this video was like an hour and 45 minutes long. Um, so to be able to show you guys the full content, I had to break it into a two-parter. So today, you guys will get the first, first day of the video, and then uh, either tomorrow or Wednesday, you guys will get the second part as well. I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that uh, like, follow, subscribe, uh, all that good stuff, comment, stuff, and things. 
and we'll see you guys on the next one. Yeah.